Hey guys, Tequila LaShawn here, and I'm extremely excited for two reasons. Number one, well, for several reasons. Number one, I am sitting in my cool new media room. You can't see the whole space, but I just uh, completed decorating it specifically for um, this new part of my journey and my ministry, the relaunch of Tequila Sean Ministries. And um, behind me, I have this whole cool kind of asymmetrical bookshelf that I put together all by myself. Um, but uh, anyone that knows me knows I love creating spaces. I love decorating. And so that's the cool thing. Number one is I get to sit in this really cool space and create and launch um, the 31 Days Book Ministry, the relaunch. Uh, this was launched back in 2020. I did a video a couple weeks ago, so I'm not going to um, talk too much about that. But I'm relaunching 31 Days, which is a book ministry, which is an umbrella um, ministry under Tequila Sean Ministries. And let me just clarify, when I say Tequila Sean Ministries or ministry, the word ministry in its purest essence or simplest form means to serve. And so when I talk about Tequila Sean Ministries, I'm an entrepreneur, I am uh, a public figure, I am a TV radio talk show host, I um, am in the beauty industry, I do, I wear a ton of different hats, I do a lot of different things, but my businesses are all for the glory of God. And so Tequila Sean Ministries just covers all those outlets and avenues of what God has placed on my heart to do. So let's jump into it. What I want to talk about tonight is 31 Days, the relaunch of the book ministry. We are going to kick that off on October 1st, which is not this coming Sunday falls on a does it fall on a Sunday? I believe, I believe it falls on a Sunday. If it doesn't fall on a Sunday, it's a Saturday or Sunday, but I think it's a Sunday. Anyway, October 1st, we are kicking off 31 days. And I talked about the book that we are gonna read. It's one that I read back in 2020. It's one that I've read a couple of times, and I just absolutely love it. It is Stormy O. Martian. And now I want to show you. I actually was blessed to come across this compilation of three of her books, uh, The Power of a Praying Wife, The Power of a Praying Parent, and The Power of a Praying Woman. So your book is not going to be this thick. Um, this is a compilation of all three of her little gems that I just absolutely, absolutely love. But The Power of a Praying Woman is what we are going to um, read, begin reading October first and it's about that thick which again this is a I guess it just depends on I put the link and I'll put the link again for those of you that want to go ahead and order your copy I know some of you have already signed up through the website some of you have already ordered your copy directly from either the publisher which is Harvest House Publishers or either through Amazon you download it to your Kindle, whichever you prefer, but um, it's really not uh, a long read. The reason for the ministry name being 31 days is because I wanted to have something that we can implement into our lives on a month to month basis, something that wasn't going to take an extreme amount of time. We're busy, we're mothers, we're we're women, we're mothers, we're wives, we're entrepreneurs, we're caregivers, we're community builders, we got so much stuff going on, but our time with God is so important. And I know that many of us belong to other integral, integral, in, integral groups and you're doing things. And so I didn't wanna add anything else that's too much that you can't complete this. So this book actually has 30 chapters and majority of the months, which is why I call it 31 days, is because the majority of the months are comprised of at least 30 days. You know, you have that leap year, that's what, 28, and then you have, no, 29, sorry. Um, and then you have either 30 or 31 days. And so every month, each read will consist of enough chapters that you can get this done where you're just reading literally one chapter a day at the minimum, or if you're someone like me, you may want to read ahead until you feel like you know you're full for that time but the whole point is not to just read to just be reading and speeding through but to just really process and digest what you're reading so 
Um, what we'll do also, these are independent reads. I'm not going to get on camera and read every day or talk about what I read every day. We will come back. I will do a Facebook group um, where uh, you can join that and every Sunday I'll just kind of get on and everyone that wants to get in the chat in the room, we could talk about what we read in that previous week and just get feedback and get input and just help one another grow. And I love, this is what chapter one, the first chapter says, Lord, draw me into a closer walk with you. And how many of us is that on our heart? Is that our prayer? No matter how close or how far off or how distant you may feel with God, there's always for the, the woman um, that is really just seeking that change and that growth. That is always the prayer of our heart. It's always, Lord, can you draw me closer? Lord, can you give me more of you? And the reason I chose um, to do The Power of a Praying Woman again, I mean, this is like the third time I've done this book, is because, I mean, we are women. And the power of prayer is so, so, so imperative to those of us that are believers. Um, I'll, I'll share just some of my testimonies even on Sunday and I want you know many of you when you join the group to talk about that. The power of prayer is so real. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine this morning and we were just rejoicing about prayers answered for me personally. Um, and she said to me, she said, Takiya, you are a praying mother, you are a praying woman. And she said, you know, um, there is just nothing that God won't answer in prayer. And I remember my response was just, you know, yeah, I've had to learn that I have to stop trying to battle things in my flesh, in and of myself, with my own thoughts and ideals in my mouth with how I should do things. And just when I get in that posture of prayer, hell can't withstand it. And everything that needs to happen happens through the power of prayer. So, um, one of the things that I am huge on when it comes to ministry, when it comes to serving, is I'm not about just lip service. And what I mean by that is I have such a passion and a purpose in my heart and a call in my life to equip women, um, not just motivate you. That's something God dealt with me years ago as he was building me up and um, building my brand and giving me titles, so to speak. Um, I remember him giving me, you're an author, you're an entrepreneur. Um, and I remember wanting to put down motivational speaker. And it just, every time it was just like this, something just within me was just like, no, no, no. And not that something is the Holy Spirit. It just didn't settle. And I just remember God years ago telling me, don't you ever use motivational speaker. That's not who you are. And more and more and more as I grow and I've uh, evolved into my purpose of being the inspirational beauty boss and hearing women say, you know, Takia, you're so inspiring or you inspire me or that's inspiring, inspire, inspire, inspire. And you look at the definition of what inspire means, and it means to, to breathe into, to give life, to ignite, to spark. And that's all of who I am and what I'm about. Um, because motivation is good. I think that motivation sits well. It has its place in certain avenues um, on the job. We can motivate our workers and our coworkers um, because we're here to get a job done and then go home. But inspiration is something that ignites something in you and wants you to have what you see. And uh, I'm all about inspiring. And so with the ministries, you know, when you go on the website and you look at um, Tequila Shaw Ministries, you'll see Be Still, you'll see 31 Days, you'll see Heal Her, you'll see For My Girls, you'll see, um, what are the other ones that I have there? God Morning. Every one of those was just different avenues of my life that I'm already living out. And it's something that I wanted to share to uh, spark and ignite something in other women. And all of those are areas to speak to you differently. Um, but I believe in equipping. I don't believe in just motivating because motivation wears off. It just does. Um, I want 
to do something that teaches you and equips you how to live out the fullest, most purposeful, most passion-driven life that you could have ever imagined. And so anyway, October 1st, we kick off 31 Days, the book ministry. There's still time to get your book. I don't make any profit off of these books. Uh, these are books that the Lord lays on my heart to share with you all. I liaison, liaison the links through my website or here on social media. But I do also tell you this, if you are something, one of the things that's on my heart to do, if you ever see one of the ministries or one of the books that we're doing and it's just not in your budget to do it, reach out to me. I have ministry funds set aside. I will be a blessing to you and make sure you have it if you absolutely cannot get it and it's your heart's desire to do it. So go to TakiyaLashawnMinistries.com, click on the 31 days um, link and that's going to take you to, um, I need you to pre-register. So that's just going to ask your name and your email. So I know who's going along, who's going to do this, because I want to send out some emails, some reminders, just kind of tell you in writing how we're doing this, your times for the Zoom, not the Zoom, or the, the video chat groups, uh, meetups, and then also just to ensure everyone's on the same page. So Stormio Martian, um, The Power of a Praying Woman. I will see you all as we kick off the launch on October 1st. What is it that you want? Come on. My fur baby is just so loved. <laughs> Listen, now you're tearing up my stuff. Oh, oh. Couple of things. See, he distracted me. Make sure that you not only have your book, have a good Bible. If you have a study Bible, great. You don't necessarily have to go get a study Bible, but have a good Bible um, because you're going to get scripture in this. And you don't want to just be a reader of the word. You want to be a doer of the word. And you want to, even though the scripture's in the book, you want to go back to the good book, highlight, underline, decipher those words, um, not decipher, what's the word, um, to pull apart. Come on, Holy Spirit. What is the word I'm trying to look at? Think about it. He'll bring it to me. But you want to just pull those words apart and just study them and just understand what they're saying. Um, the other thing is, is you want to get a good journal. You want to be able to take notes. This is actually my journal that uh, I had back in 2020 when I first read The Power of a Praying Woman. And there was just so much good stuff in there that I journaled every day. So um, anyway, October 1st, The Power of a Praying Woman. Have your Bible ready, have your journal ready, and I will see you soon, tequilashawnministries.com.